One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. What's up, everyone? It's Somnizo here. Uh, I hope everyone's uh, enjoying the weekend. Uh, also, uh, yeah, today we had a great uh, weekend mentoring session uh, talking about uh, the challenge that you guys did. Uh, and so, uh, first of all, I would like to say, you know, great job, everyone. Um, you know, putting in the time, uh, it's, uh, it's the most important. And uh, also, I've seen a lot of uh, members uh, working really hard. So, and also, uh, you know, going over our, our videos uh, so it's it's just really makes it uh, you know all worth it and that's why we work so hard uh, uh, you know to, just to be able to help you guys and uh, and when, so when you see people are appreciating your work I mean it's just uh, you know it's just you know really great so I uh, just want to say a great job on that and yeah uh, today uh, I'm gonna go over I think one of the uh, a pretty important topic for I mean for new or like uh, still uh, uh, finding a consistency a trader uh, those who are not consistent yet um, and yeah so I'm gonna dedicate this video for those uh, who have a small account and uh, under PDT uh, I, I don't think it's gonna be for international it is uh, uh, it's it's gonna be for uh, the US base uh, say so they have to abide the PDT law and it's uh, you know pretty tough sometimes and uh, I've been getting a lot of DMs uh, people asking about what strategy they sh they they should choose and uh, so um, I thought it could be a good idea to kind of go a little bit in depth with that so you can maybe some uh, take a, some good things uh, you know or like some good lessons from this and yeah so when I first started I, I started really uh, with you know a few hundred bucks really small account but I was lucky enough because I'm not US based and uh, I have uh, like you know I'm, I'm from Europe and I'm, I'm uh, using international uh, trade zero and so uh, I don't have to abide the PDT law right and and so basically I can trade as as much as I can uh, with just a little bit uh, you know of money instead of you guys who are US based and uh, and there are not a lot of choices for you uh, if you don't have <coughs> 25,000 right and so it could be really difficult uh, um, for me I, I you know I probably would say it is really difficult since even though I haven't experienced it, you know it yet but you know I just imagine that if I couldn't trade like the way I could uh, I don't think I could have you know uh, you know get to where I am today but uh, because my style is, is, is different right and and it's just like if I was under PDT I think it's gonna take me a lot like longer to get to where I am and but uh, you know there are also a possibility right I mean it's just like uh, you need to put a lot of work in and be patient you know I, I think you know, I probably would say for the most of the time because you only have like three trades per week uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm hoping you know I'm right on this because you know never had a PDT and uh, yeah, uh, so I also made a video on uh, the brokers and, and, and so on. So if you want to kind of go over that. Uh, uh, so for under PDT, if you want to long the stocks, uh, I'm, I don't know. And uh, you don't rely too much on a level two, maybe Thing or Swim, TD Ameritrade, or like uh, Venom. Uh, you can use Dash for long as well. But for shorting, I would... Uh, um, really recommend trade zero uh, you know USA or uh, Venom as well but uh, Venom I, I don't think they have a good locate on that uh, but uh, or, or, or go with Cobra right uh, but you have to be under PDT with Cobra so 
that means you only have few trades per week and uh, same with trade zero and uh, but you know if you want to short the small caps uh, those two brokers are probably the best so I, I wouldn't recommend anything else and uh, yeah just uh, let's uh, bring up some charts and let's talk about the strategies uh, what I like the most I mean if I put myself in that position right now if I was under PDT what would be like let's say I only have 10,000 right or like 5,000 account so what would a strategy that makes sense the most to me since I can only trade three times per week uh, uh, I'm not sure if I'm right but uh, you know three trades that mean you get in and you get out that counts as one trade I, I think you can recycle the shares as well with Venom and I'm not sure uh, but you know as it counts in one trade when you you know you buy stuff and you sell you close that position that's uh, that will count, uh, count as one trade right or uh, yeah uh, I forgot to talk about this uh, I think there's uh, also a tips for under PDT uh, you want to kind of split into more accounts let's say you have Cobra you have trade zero uh, you know that means you have six trades uh, per week right so that uh, might be something that you want to kind of uh, you know divide your accounts into so that you can have more trades per week and uh, so so you can basically get more trades uh, basically oh yeah so uh, now let's just talk about the 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 strategies uh, you know if I was on the PDT uh, you know the first thing I would do is I could you know of course I, I would like to grow that account right let's say I, I, I only have like five or ten thousand hey guys my name is Tosh Bradley I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at my investing club if you have any questions about getting started in trading getting started in MIC MIC in general text me at 213-458-5997 this is not a robot it is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. Uh, so how how can I do or like what 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 should I do to take advantage of that if I on if I'm only having a small uh, account and I, I'm only allowed to have you know three trades per week. What should I do? What setup should I choose, right? So the number one thing for me if I was in that position is I want to be a sniper right I want to you know probably like for the whole week I, I would need to wait you know for the whole week just to get one good trade and that trade has to be worth it right so what do I mean by worth it worth it you know worth taking it you know what I mean by that is the risk reward has to be good right uh, my strategy uh, right now what I'm using you know with the account that you can trade you know whatever you want is scalping right you get in you know uh, drawing the lines that's what the, this is the MIC process uh, you know getting a line cover channel trading you know just to get that scalps you know 20 cents 30 cents over and over again four five six times right so that's that's what I'm doing right now but for those who are under PDT you know it's really difficult for you to kind of you know to scout that many uh, uh, trades because you don't have that luxury right so what should you do right my normal profit ratio or like you know profit take taking uh, risk uh, ratio is around like two to one right uh, I don't know like risk one or take two or three or whatever if you are using R uh, but for under PDT the one thing I would aim is for a bigger risk reward because there's only that much that many of trades that I can take this week you know might as well make it worth it so that's the first thing I'm gonna look at so like at least 3 to 1 4 to 1 5 to 1 or 6 to 1 I think the minimum has to be like 3 to 1 since you have to pay for the locate since you have to pay for commissions I would say you know 3 to 1 that's okay but I would prefer maybe four to one or five to one. Like, you know, I've been waiting for all week just to make one good trade, and that trade has to kind of cover for my weight. So you could apply to the best strategy, which is the all day fader. 
yeah, you can apply to that. It's all up to you. But if it was me, I, I, I would apply similar to something like that. But I would like to scale along the way or like, you know, scaling out slowly, uh, but not like, you know, I'm going to short it six and then hold it all the way to like uh, three. Right. Uh, but I, I probably would, uh, you know, try to uh, wait, you know, for some perfect entries. Uh, so, you know, let's let's talk about this one, uh, for example. Let's just say that, uh, you know, let's say this, you know, Friday. Yeah, let's just say this is Monday, right? You come into the week, you know, knowing the fact that you only have three trades per week and you see this kind of setup. So the first thing what you want to look is, okay, the stock, like let's say, like this, okay? First thing in the morning, and then when the stock ran, okay, I'm a short seller. I'm going to wait for the move, and you know, to get enough meat for me to get interested in, okay? So 250, stock now is at 5. Relatively, I have $2.50 you know, on the downside, you know, like best case scenario. Uh, so as, as the day goes by, right, I'm, I'm just going to wait it. I'm, I'm just going to wait, wait until like, this is the front side, right? I mean, as you can see in the grinding higher trending, uh, as a short, you want, you don't want to be shorting that, right? I, I just, you know, can't, um, I'm not just, uh, I'm not going to anticipate here. I'm not going to guess the top here. I'm just going to wait for the backside. Okay. So, days go by boom right broke this pre-market high goes higher right to six and then slowly day goes by I'm just patient being patient nothing else and then I want to sort this candle boom right so what can you do here as a short seller if you see a stuff candle like this a death candle like this this is, uh, you know, telling me that, okay, the momentum has shift, right? It's not been done yet. I don't know if it's, it's uh, you know, done, but I just know that all people who are long in the stock, yes, after this candle, they're not going to trust this stock anymore to go higher, right? So I'm still being patient, waiting, right? Nothing to do here. See, crack this support again trying to push here fails that's to me that's a confirmation okay i wouldn't be shorting into this bounce i mean yes if i'm scalping it if you know i have unlimited trade yes i would you know get in here and get out here get in here and get out here right but since i'm on a pdt there's not much i can do i have to aim for the perfect entry i have to you know calculate or like a you're doing my checklist with everything has to check like uh, in the box, right? For me to take the trade. If not, I'm going to miss it. Come back tomorrow. Wait for another edge. Okay. So like this one, when uh, it trying to, you know, after a death candle like this, trying to push, fell, push here, another fails. That's to me, that's a confirmation. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my line here. Okay. The thesis now is I'm going to short this. Okay. So as I'm shorting this, I'm going to short this uh, 517 or 520. Okay. And I'm going to rest over here six. So yeah, you can get in one size, whatever. Okay. Or you can have two bullets. That's really up to you. But if you are in a PDT, I might suggest that you want to use, you know, I don't know, like maybe one bullet, uh, if like between one or two bullets. Okay. So that, you know, like you have enough size when you write and, and, you know, not like capturing just like, you know, because your goal here is not to scale, right? Your goal here is to short for a one good entry and then hold it for a bigger move. So I would prefer maybe one or two bullet max, two bullets here. Uh, let's say I'm going to get in here, you know, a small account, right? You know, 1000 shares, let's say that I'm going to get in at 500 and 500. And, uh, and so like 
or like getting here like with 1000 shares okay so if i'm getting here 1000 shares and i'm risk six bucks here so technically it's 80 cents right i'm risking 800 bucks so back in my mind i'm um risking 80 cents here uh 80 cents here to get what you know like a dollar 60 or like uh you know like three times uh that you know so at least like two bucks 240 something like that right but you know like if this one hit uh then you know my average would be you know i don't know 5 30 5 40 that would be gonna be like 60 cents right Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.